Hello YouTube. In this video, we'll be adding on to the random character selector that it was discussed in the previous one. Uh, in this one, instead of just having the characters randomly generate, uh, instead we're going to make a toggable switch here that I called static char that allows you to keep one character uh, constant and when you switch it off then it can randomly or randomly be selected through the construction script. You can also change which character um, gets static or well becomes the static character and so here I'll show you how. In the construction script um, all we're really doing is adding a an if statement which becomes our boolean over here. Uh, now when you see the eyes appear next to the variables over here that means that it's public. Oh well that means that it's uh, yeah it's public. The variable is public. So you'll see down here in default that these two variables are now available to be used instead of having to go inside of that and then changing the properties. If you make it public it can be selected right here in the editor. So we're, we made one called static character and another one that's just an integer um, which is our character number. And so all it's really saying that if we have the static character boolean, if it's set to true, to make this switch statement reference this uh, integer value that we also have set to public so that we can just change that. And that's going to the same switch statement as before. If it's not selected, then use the random uh, integer to select between these. And so with that, you now have a static character. I hope that this was insightful, and I'll see you in the next one.